Hello and welcome to my little workshop and design office where I produce radio control model hot air balloon designs. Uh, today I'm going to offer you the opportunity for you to get involved in building your own radio control model hot air balloon. Hi, my name's Andy and I'm a hot air balloonist and I have been for most of my life. I've done various projects over that time, mostly starting as a child with radio control model hot air balloons and gradually developing to build larger and larger balloons. At the moment I fly my own balloon which I've designed and built myself. Many of the people that I talk to around the ballooning community talk about wanting to build a radio control model hot air balloon but don't know where to start. So I've shortcutted that process for you by producing a set of design templates. They can be downloaded online. I've specifically created a set of designs for beginners, intermediates and advanced model balloon builders. And I've called them Venus, Earth and Mars. And I can show you the difference between the three different designs. The prototype aircraft was tested at the Langothan Model Hot Air Balloon Meet and have been outside with it a few times since just to check that everything works as planned. So let's explore the three different design types. The first is called Venus and is a faceted design. Faceted balloons are designed using straight lines on all edges of the fabric. This gives a very simple technique for sewing and is easy to cut and assemble. This is a technique that I've been using most of my model ballooning life and have built over 35 model balloons this way. It's a good starter package and the balloon that I've designed is unique from any of those that you'll find from the mainstream manufacturers of man carrying hot air balloons. Halfcore gives a straight line manufacturing technique similar to the faceted core that we've talked about before but the panel is structured in such a way that there is a left hand half and a right hand half to the structure. When they're mated together they give an undulating surface which we can see here in the photos from the test lines. With the design of hot air balloons we look to produce a curved or undulating surface so that we take the stress away from the fabric and move it into the load tapes which run from the top of the balloon to the bottom. Half gore is quite common uh, particularly in the United States and in older balloon designs. This is known as Earth, and as you can see in my prototype, it's kind of got a seaside, sunshine and clouds colour scheme to it, in my particular version. The third design is called Mars, and this is a fully billowed balloon. When we look at man-carrying balloons, it's quite common to see that their surface undulates. When we look up at the balloon, there are curves all around the structure. To do this, you need to introduce curvature at the top and at the bottom edge of the fabric. This allows the middle section of the fabric to billow out. This means that there is limited stress on the fabric. This balloon is a little bit more complicated to manufacture as a result. When panels are joined with each other, they tend to curve away from each other and it takes a little bit more skill on the sewing machine to create that effect. As a result, I would say this is a more complicated balloon to construct. However, all three of the balloon designs are designed for simplicity and have a minimal number of components to build a vertical section known as a gore. There are 16 vertical gores within the balloon's construction, each built up of panels stacked on top of each other to create the vertical member of the balloon. Venus and Mars stick to that 16 component structure. Venus being rectangular panels which are easy to structure to each other Mars having the curvature which allows for that undulating surface we classically see within hot air balloons. Earth takes those 16 curved sections and splits them down the middle giving this left and right hand component. Okay so you can see on the left hand side we've got this kind of curvature going on and on the right hand side we've got angles it juts out and recedes back in. They're actually the same curve on this side and on this side but they've been cut differently in the fabric. The section in the middle then, all the lines in that are absolutely perfectly straight. As a result 
it takes a bit more time to construct the Earth balloon. That's been the experience that I've gained uh, in this project so far. The balloon that I'm showing you uh, is a test aircraft and I've used the opportunity to test all three of the designs together with each other. Of course in the modern world with CAD we can clip those components together uh, in the theoretical world um, and prove that the design works. However, there's nothing beats the reality of standing on the field, putting air into your balloon and seeing for the first time what it actually looks like. And for me, I like to experiment and like to push the boundaries of my own knowledge, but also of balloon design. And so for that test aircraft, we can see that I've split it into all three of the designs and assembled those together to give you a demonstration. So Earth is a very Earth colour scheme with blue sky, clouds, beach, sea. Mars is reds and oranges and yellows and Venus is silver and white. So if you'd like to construct your own radio control model hot air balloon I'm hoping that this is a good starting point for you because I've done the groundwork of designing and testing the first build of the project. You can go to my website at thebigballoonfestival.com and download a digital pattern set which you can print at any industrial printers anywhere in the world. You'll then need to cut your paper patterns to the right shape, get yourself a work area, whether that's a very smooth floor where you can lay the fabric or on a tabletop like I use and you'll see in my videos of construction. And for me, using ripstop nylon, which is the same material that's used in hot air balloon construction, a basic domestic sewing machine and good strength cotton. There are, of course, a whole series of tutorials across the channel uh, showing you how to construct and build a radio control model hot air balloon. If you're not familiar with those, I'll drop a playlist in the link at the bottom. I hope you enjoy constructing your balloon and I look forward to seeing the results appearing around the internet in the years to come. Best wishes and happy landings.